All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a very simple bookcase, bookshelf, whatever you wanna call it. I got a stack of two by eights, two by eight footers. And down here on the floor, I have some one by eights, which are gonna be the shelves. Real simple. Just thought you could follow along today. So what you just saw me do is I went and cut off a little bit from each side just to square that off, get off all the little blemishes and dings and nicks. And the next step I'm gonna do is run these through a surface planer, take them down a little bit, get all the little washboard ripples you see in them when they come new, clean them up, get them nice and smooth. I'll probably take them down to about an inch and three eighths from an inch and a half. So that's gonna be my next step. It makes a mess, but there they are. So what I didn't show you, cause I didn't want to bore you to death. So as you were gone, I ran these through twice on each side. I think one side may have got an extra run, but what that gives me is a nice flat square board, flat, sharp corners, really cleans them up, makes them nice. So my next step, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this mess and cut these to the lengths I need. You didn't see it, but I emptied this once already while you were gone. So yeah, there we go. That's run through the planer. It brings them down almost an eighth of an inch. This is the planer I'm using, the 2012 NB. It's a little pricier than some of those you see. I think it's almost $600 for that planer, but when it's got a sharp set of knives in it, it's quieter than anything I've ever seen. Uh, I don't see too many people with those, but I like it. So we're going to get cleaned up, move on to the next step. Got my best pencil, got my best tape measure. We're about to get these to size. I narrowed them down. I'm going to work on, I uh, need six of them at five feet. So that's what we're going to start with. There we go, we got our sides and our tops and our bottom pieces. Next step, I'm gonna hit them all with some 180 sandpaper and get them nice and smooth.
Okay, we got them all. They're all sanded down here. Got them to a good stopping point for today. Tomorrow I'm gonna come back and we're gonna start drilling some pocket holes where I'm gonna attach these tops and bottoms. You know earlier when I told you I was cleaning up, well, I use the term clean up pretty loosely. I've watched a lot of stuff on YouTube, people working in their shops, building things, and they're spotless. You can eat off the floor. This is a working shop. Yeah, it's a real life, buddy. Okay, I will be back in the morning, but to you guys, it'll just be a couple seconds. All right, made it back. We're set up over here to drill some pocket holes. So watch me do that. Should be exciting, lots of fun. We're gonna get some in the tops and bottoms here. I switched over my plans a little bit and ripped down some one by eight for the bottom pieces. The tops are still gonna be made out of the two by eights. So I'm gonna get rigged up and here we go. All right, we got the pocket holes done. Got set up over here on the workbench, got it cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead and slap some of these boxes together next step. All right, so that step's done. We've got a basic box. I'm gonna do this to the other two I have and we'll come back for the next one. Okay, I got all these slapped together. Got a little pocket hole action. I'm going to get a quarter inch round over bit and I'm gonna ease these edges on the outside and along the inside. And I'm not gonna do the top. So here we go with that. Started some shelf pin holes now. Uh, kind of debated on putting the backs on first or doing the shelf pin holes. Uh, I thought I'd go ahead and start getting some of these knocked out. I use this Wood River shelf pin jig. Just ordered me a new bit. Seems to be looking working okay. It's kind of chipping out a little bit. But you can see I got a lot of these to do this way. Keep on going with this, and uh, we'll see where we get. Y'all are just watching me drill all these holes really fast. There's a lot of them here. But, uh, whew, shadows. Anyway, next step, I'm going to cut some backs for these. I'm going to use quarter inch birch. I think my phone crapped out on me about halfway through drilling those holes, so you just got a little snippet of that. So, I'm going to 
count these up. A lot of them. Get that fire blazing in there. All right. On to the back for these. Alright, I got y'all right down on the action now. We're going to put this quarter inch back on. Uh, let's see, I'm going to use these. These are three quarter by a quarter inch staples. Got them guys loaded up. And I'm going to scoot you a little bit. You're actually riding with me here. Make sure your sheet's nice and square. And when you put it on here, it'll square up everything. This will be after I like to usually start from the bottom. Get it all nice and true, straight across. And then go up to the side and keep the plywood right on that side. I got these thick sides, remember, so I got plenty to nail to. And pull over a little bit here. Yeah. Get it nice and flush. So it's going to square up your shelf. Alright, I'm going to work my way around here and then we'll show you what it looks like with the back on. Hit the button. It's all but finished. Pretty simple bookshelf. Gonna cut some shelves to length, get the shelf pins in there, and then you can stain it, paint it. This is part of a bigger project for me, but I'll definitely show you what it all looks like when it's together. I got a few more of them over there. All right, guys, we'll be back. Thanks for staying this long. Hey, how's it going today? We're going to cut some shelves for these shelves. One by eight, pine. I screw me a little stop block into my workbench and just cut. <laughs> and you hope they're the right length. We have a few of those to do, so here we go. Yeah, so here's all the shelves. I didn't show you, but I just got done rounding over all the edges used a 1 8 inch router bit. I'm gonna sand them. I'm not gonna bother boring you with that. You can hang around if you want, but uh, yeah, nah, you don't wanna watch me sand all that. So next, I will put them into a shelf just to kind of give you an idea of what a finished product looked like unfinished. That is all. Yeah, getting closer. There it is. That's completed shelf. 
Not much to it. That's what the customer wanted. That's what you do. As you can see, I have three of them just like it here. I wasn't just building one. You're probably wondering why I was cutting all those parts out. And over here, I got three more that are a little shorter. Maybe I'll do a video on the final project, but we'll see. But yeah, there you go. That's a simple book bookcase, bookshelf. Anybody can do it. Just regular off the shelf lumber. Doesn't take too many tools, doesn't take too much time. It all depends on your quality of finish. But that's it for this video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Like it. I hope you like it. Like the channel. Subscribe. And we'll come up with something else to watch. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a good one.